then, Mr Nesbitt, how much can you see? More than I want you to see, boy. More than I want you to see. <laughs> We're not talking in metaphors, Mr Nesbitt. Just try the bottom line for me. Don't you want to have a bottom line, boy. Don't you want to have a bottom line when it comes to the bottom line. No bugger pulls a wool over my eyes. Just read it, Mr Nesbitt. The bottom line, please. E-A-U. B-G-P-F-N. Perfect. You have absolutely nothing to worry about, Mr Nesbitt. Your eyesight is fine. As long as you wear those glasses. <laughs> can't he wear glasses? He can't be. He can't be a psychotic and, and wear specs for cause. He never will take you seriously. I mean, I am a man of consequence in government. I mean, having a psychosis. Well... It's like having a night you drew in there, you know. Look, give them a try just for me, Mr Nesbitt. You'll notice a world of difference out there if you just admit to yourself that you're well, eh, getting on. What if I don't want to get on, boy? What if I don't want to sit chittering in my fluffy slippers, sucking on Jaina tablets and peering through my cataracts to watch some four-year-old stinking episode of A Home and Away, eh? Hey? Old age is inevitable, Mr Nesbitt. The question is, are you going to shut your eyes to it? Or open them? <laughs> Marvellous. Pure marvellous, so it was. Oh, dear. What was that you were watching, Ma? Thelma and Louise, son. A great story. Dead inspiring. Inspiring? How? What was it about? About a pair of ordinary women that just changed their lives. I took the blows and did it. Oh, my! So What's all that screaming about here? Oh, it's my ma. She's just seen her whole life on the telly. What was on? Crime Watch. <laughs> it was not Crime Watch. It was Thelma and Louise. That's my tea. Aye, it's your tea. What's wrong with egg and chips, eh? Did I say a word? Did I say a word, eh? Well, you stop reaching for the martyr card every time I open my mouth. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, ass. Every time you see a, a movie in the telly with some woman in it, you're, you're wanting to fling your heat scarf out and, and reach for your crown of thorns. Don't you speak to me like that in front of the boys. They're going to grow up despising women. They should despise everybody else. Why should you be the exception? <laughs> eh? Hey, Tiger, you love your uncle, Rab, eh? Have a heart attack. You're blocking my light. You see? No, exactly, Ben Cartwright, am I? So you don't have a monopoly on being a doormat, lady. I hope I never get married. It's horrible when it all turns sour. What do you mean, turn sour? Start it after. Ah, oh, you're right here. We've gone right through sour and ended up at stale. You stick to your gun, son. You live your life to the full. Listen to your own mother. Don't you end up like me, hanging around pound stretchers, waiting in my change of life. I thought you had your change of life. How come you're that queer shape? No, it's been a woman, son. Goes with the territory. Are you going to answer that phone or what? You get it. You're nearer. How do you make that out? My chair further away. Aye, oh, work it out for yourself, gut bucket. <laughs> hey, sketch. Check that shit. You're going to stay in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, Cotter, he might be me, but at least he's still a dancer. On the edge. Aye, ah, lying, conniving, cheating on his wife. <laughs> a man's man. Aye. Mm, Rosie's round the door. Baby's on the floor. Mm. You all right, Jamesy? Oh, it's just the happiness of married life oozing out of me. You know how it is, darling. Hi, a day, Jamesy. Nice to be nice, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Mary Hen. Is that you? How are you? Oh, struggling on, Ella. Just struggling on. I'm phoning about our Tupperware party. Mm -hmm. Aye, the Tupperware party. 
Oh, I would love to go to a Tupperware party, Ella. But I've got nobody to look after the boys. And let's face it, it's not going to be Rab, is it? Nah, he'll be off up the two ways like the sexist ogre that he is. Yeah, how do you know that? How do you know I'll not look after the boys? All right, will you look after the boys? You kidding? Oh, God, the two ways sexist I am. Nah, I'm afraid it's a no-go, Ella. If only every man was as understanding as your James, eh? I don't know how you manage it, Ella. To tell you the truth, Mary, I can't work it out either. I thought it'd be a battle of wills for me to get away. You know, with my mother being here. But he's practically pushing me out the door. Oh, dear, dear mother. Everything all right, my sweet? As a matter of fact, no. It's Rab. He'll not let Mary go to the Tupperware party. Goodness. Some men are. Here. Away you and get yourself ready. Go on, I'll talk to that big lug. Would you, Jamesy? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Hello. Rab. What do you want? You're wasting your time. You're not changing my mind, boy, because I will tell you this. Shut up, Moody. Listen, I will say this once and once only. I have the vigil. Eh, uh, <coughs> I, uh, I've just, I've just been thinking there, you know, Maybe she, maybe she, I've been a wee bit selfish, you know. Maybe? All right, all right, I have. But I have just been mulling over the message of Thelma and her knees. Louise, <laughs> Thelma and Louise. Exactly, exactly. And Mary, I was just thinking it was nothing but a mills and boon for the 90s. But Mary, I was wrong, I was wrong. You must be looking for a tap. Mary Doll, you can go to the Tupperware party. I can I'll look after the boys. Oh, gee. I'll look after the boys. Eh? And what a time we shall have, eh? Where's that encyclopedia, eh? Ho, 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 ho! Right, I'm off! Hey, you pair. I will you just go out the back way. Go on. What about the encyclopedia, though? Never you mind about the encyclopedia. I'll show you how to write out a bookie's line. Yeah, damn sight mere good and a lot of crap about dinosaurs. Now, we outside, go on. But it's cold outside. When you worry about that, your ass is near the equator. Oh, you I'll peel will feel the cold. Go on, oh, it's on. Not Never it. mind you. <laughs> Daddy's got some further education of his own to learn, you know. <laughs> education video. Ella's no here. Thank you, God. <laughs> See, get away with it then, Mary. He bought it. Aye, like a sugar alley lolly, Ella. <laughs> I played the martyr card. They can never resist it. Guilty as hell in no time. Aye, they're innocent, something. they? Mary be pitied. Are you ready? Aye, <laughs> let's Tupperware. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, boys, it's it's good to get away for a woman once in a while, you know. Get down to some decent hardcore education, eh? Just for a laugh, like. Oh, just for a laugh, like. <laughs> Why, well, I mean, that goes without saying. It's not as if we're sick bastards or anything, you know. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Is that a kinky bit? Right, freeze frame, freeze frame! <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, this is the real stuff. Huh? This is where a wife of Gouda country, you know? More like Swiss cheese country. <laughs> There's more holes than Glen Eagles. <laughs> nice image, Doddy. You've got an eye for detail. All right, Rab. He's putting the papers up there. Can you not see? Of course I can see. Of course I can see. I'm just... You need to adjust my tobacco tin so it's big. Oh, don't you worry. I can see. I can see. 
Oh, see. Hi, she's a... She's a lovely rear ender of that blonde thing, eh? <laughs> what do you call her? That's Jürgen Langschlong. You can't see, can you? Of course I can see, of course I can see. As a matter of fact, I was just, I was just looking at this, uh, this old wedding for you, you and Ella back in the happy days, you know? Give me that! What did he just say? Did he mention a wedding for you? Right, that's it. You see what you've done now? <laughs> what do you mean, what do you mean? You've shattered the mood. <laughs> Bringing up wedding photos when we're sitting here with our fun size and we're expanding our intellects. <laughs> Sorry, boys. It's just... Well, I've had a few jars and I'm feeling a wee bit on the sentimental side, you know. Oh, sentimental, eh? Well, you want to get your priorities right. Because see these, eh? These is loved ones. We can see these bastards any time. <laughs> Whereas we only have the vigil for 24 hours. So, if you want to get sentimental, day after 10 o'clock or more in the morning. Sorry, Jimmy, sorry. I should think so. Dragging feelings into filth. Educational filth. Exactly. I mean, this is the 90s after all, you know. We're all more mature and adult about sex than we've ever been. Hey, boys, uh, if you turn your nappers this way, you can see absolutely everything. <laughs> Look at that one. What extreme close up would you say, Doddy? I wonder how my Estelle got on with her smear test. Ah, oh, that is it this time, I definitely. What? What is it? Listen, Andrew and I are sensitive men, right? We, we, we can't even deem with all this abattoir talk. It's not your fault in this, but you started it. Hey, you want to take a poker out your ass? Just because you're too blunt, you kick it, nudie woman. Look, what are you getting at me for? All I'm saying is I can remember the day when we couldn't wait to make love to our wives instead of sitting here gopping at a roll of bloody celluloid, that's all. And anyway, if, if I'm that blind, how comes I can see that woman across the road stripping down to her thermal vest, eh? Where, 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 where? Why are you want to look at her standing there in that cement bar? Hey, there's one of the nudie women all stalking about in that video in the buff. I know, but since I say that, stolen sweeties taste sweeter. <laughs> that's the hell trouble with a sex drive. I can't be satisfied by having sex. You can't be too close to my Saying, Hella, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I especially asked for the result to be sent to me. So far, I've really heard the scrape of pain. I'm sure it's just a postal cock up. <laughs> Speaking of bitch. Look at that, Mary. If it wasn't a bun with mustard, I'd eat it. Oh, I'm too embarrassed. Embarrassed? Nothing, Mary. Women up and down the country are swarming to shows like this. This is what liberation for me. Back are you? What time do you call this? Oh, aye. And what the hell is this meant to be? The self-righteous brothers, eh? Which is the next <laughs> line? You treat this hoose like a hotel. I got a, I hope you give your mother this other time when she come back for her Tupperware party. Aye, but we would. But she's no back yet. <laughs> no back yet? You mean she's still out there? Gallivanting about the place, leaving two innocent wains in the hoose themselves? It was you that left us to go gallivanting, remember? Ah, well, at least I had the decency to boot your ass through the door before I left like any diligent parent. No, like her. Hello, Rab. 
I thought you'd be in your bed. You mean you hoped I'd be in my bed? What the hell time do you call this? Hey, that's your line. Shut it, you. Oh. You were supposed to be at a Tupperware party. Where the hell have you been? I buying governed Tupperware. An empty Tizer bottle and a pizza box lid. You shut it, you damn you! Don't you, you try shiting him to take the heat off yourself. You come creeping back here at hours with your tail between your legs. Look on the bright side, Uncle Rab. What? It could be somebody else's tail between her legs. Ah, <laughs> H, C, rhinestone heather cowboy. She's been to see a male stripper. Give me Give that. Me. Right, the pair of you. I went to your bed now. On you go. All right, on you go. all right. We're gone. Oh, we're gone. And oh, you get... <laughs> Is this true? <laughs> if it's true, what are you getting in your high horse for? Men have been going to see strip shows for years. Ah, and for years you've been telling us how pathetic we are. Good God almighty! One me sniff, one me sniff of testosterone, you straight up that pavilion theatre, you, you kyber twitching on the velvet. <laughs> that, that is not what upsets me most. Do you know what it is that upsets me most, Mary? No. What is it that upsets you most, Rab? You lied to me. <laughs> you said you were away at a Tupperware party. Oh, so what? It's not the first time you've lied to me, is it? <laughs> Aye, what about you? How do I know that you didn't sneak off into James's house tonight, eh? For one of his evenings of adult education and sniggering, did you? Oh, I did not. I did such a thing. How? Because <laughs> you've got popcorn stuck to your ass, wasn't it? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, uh, I lied, I lied. I mean, lying is part of a man's nature, isn't it? But when a woman lies, when a woman lies, it means something. Aye, all right. You know what it means? It means that I'm bored. I'm Fed up with you, Rab. I want to have some excitement in my life before I... Before you what? Before you what? Getting too old. And does excitement mean going and sitting watching cheap, tacky skin shows for your gratification? I don't know cheap. This G-string set me back £6.99. <laughs> £6.99? You should be able to pick them up for a pound and what every woman wants. Ah, <laughs> times have changed, Rab. What women want now are the bollocks still in them. <laughs> you mean this. What has got into you? Do you really want to know, Rab? Ah, forget it. I'm away out to live a little. Hot dog with my Mary! Mary! Just, it just goes to show you, you never really know a punter, do you? In fact, I'll tell you, see when you get right down to the bottom line, no bugger knows nothing about anybody. We're all just faggins, faggins, in the lavatory pan of life, trying no to get flushed away. I can be a lyrical big swine when I want to be, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mrs Nesbitt, it has come to light that your cervical smear test of two years ago was wrongly analysed. As a matter of extreme urgency, would you please contact your GP straight away? Nice that she come to me first, eh? Helplines have been flooded following the revelation that nearly 20,000 West of Scotland women have had their cervical smear tests wrongly examined. As a result, some 2,000 women look likely to be recalled. A hospital spokesperson said it's important to stress that being called back does not mean you have cancer. Now, football and Rangers today signed... Bad luck for the one in ten, though, eh? I trust you to look in the black side. 
Don't get me wrong, all I'm saying is if it was med that took said to go smear tests, I'd be an outcry. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Gonna wrap it, Nori. Aye. We're as politically correct as the next man. Well, unless, of course, the next man's you, that is. Hey, hey. There is nobody cares more about women than I do. I've poked hundreds of them. <laughs> I'd find you here. Where's Ella? I want you to get me some fensic. What's sat in your face? Huh? It's glasses, that's it's glasses, isn't it? It helps me see better. Of course, it depends on what you're looking at, whether it is a bonus or no, eh? I'm not going to see any doctor, Rab. You can say what you like, I'm not going to budge. I'd rather die in peace than have them use me as a guinea pig. You will go to the doctor, lady. Suppose I have to drag you in myself. No, you will not, Rab. <laughs> you might be my husband, but you don't own me. This is my bloody life, and I'll live it the way I want it, OK? OK, Mary. Merry bloody Christmas. Well, you guys can say what you want, but I don't think I'd fancy being a woman. You look kind of quiet today, do they? Me? No, I wouldn't fancy being a woman. Thank God for that. <laughs> Tried it before, I didn't like it. <laughs> Just for a few months, like. <laughs> Tights, toner, slingbacks, moisturiser, frocks and soft summer fabrics. <laughs> I really looked apart, except I kept forgetting to take the fag end from behind my ear. In the end, I gave it up. Good. Good. Aye, the periods were doing me in. <laughs> anyway, I trust that wee aberration low stop you coming up at the house tonight, Dory, eh? Because you're allowed to take their mother home, you know, so it's naked ninjas! I'll be there, James, eh? Hey, Rob. Yeah, uh, coming up to our private screen in the night? No, I'm, no, I'm fed up with that. I'm hanging up my cock. It's the director's cock. Director's half cock, mere like. Uh, 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 Rab, you're looking a bit different. What is it? He's vertical. Heard it. Just skip the pile, just hook up the trolley and make it quick. Come on. Yeah, I, hope, I hope you're not turning into one of these right own merchants. You'll be growing one of these phony tales soon. <laughs> just shut it, will you? Would you just shut it? I am just not in the mood for satire, right? <laughs> so that's all the thanks I get, huh? for taking your wife in last night after your barney? Just leave it, right? Just leave it. Just cos you can't talk to women. Just cos you can't even counsel your own bint when she starts blobbing on a dodgy smear test. I said leave it, right? Just leave it, leave it! You're Mary worried about smear tests, Rob. Still, look on the bright side, it was on the news. Only one woman in every ten will be affected. Yeah, well, she better get her worry, be duped, because as sure as fake, she'll be the one in ten. <laughs> but don't you worry about it. My wife, my wife will no blub. Because my wife is a special woman. She will come through, whatever she has got to come through, she'll come through it with courage. She will come through it with dignity, you hear? Love! Love! Hello! <laughs> gasping, Rob. Any chance of a swallow, I need a drink. <laughs> the only thing you need, lady, is my boot up your bloody shock. Get your ass out of there! Oh. Freedom is it? Freedom! I'll give you freedom! Get your ass out of there! You see? You might blank us for watching educational skin flicks, but maybe when you're older you'll get to know more about the reality of marriage. I mean, take Ella, she was never any peach, I'll grant you that. But look at her now. I'm not too dodgy or hanging a wine way. Throttling her bits, swinging at her knees, her ass is leaving two furrows behind her when she walks. I mean, boys. Be honest, to goodness, it's lovely to see you, darling. <laughs> um, <clears throat> can I get you anything, Pete? No thanks, Jamesy. <laughs> Nori, get something for a sore head. Aye. Good. Give it to him. <laughs> That's what it was. He was wearing glasses. <laughs> Where when you're told? 
Where have we gone, Nan? I thought we were going home. We're going home when I'm good and ready to go home. Don't bloody well be poor. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Just take a seat, please. Move. Go on. Stand there. Head off. The wife was a dodgy climber. She needs to see the door. Is this a real fiction, Nan? she had an appointment? No. Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait. Wait, my ass. She's been waiting for two years for you buggers to get your act together. She's not waiting any longer. Come on, go on, move on, Wait, run. You can't go in there. The doctor's conducting a rectal examination. Very good, Mr. Marks. The clock's still a moment. Um, Are you standing here? What the hell do you think you're doing, man? When you're finished poking about in there, I have another one for you here. Not a paper, what never. I'll, uh, I'll put it in there for safe keeping it off. You did it, aren't you? You'd be a work out of there, haven't you? <laughs> you worry you've got a wonky spire, eh? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll just wait outside for you, Mary, you know? I have big bastard life, ain't it, eh? Especially if you live in Govan, you know. Where you can get mugged at any time by a shoal of fish suppers booting you up the Arctic valve. <laughs> Mind you, it does tend to give life that added free song, I will admit. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't want to be young again. Come to think of it, I wouldn't want to be older either. In fact, see when you get right down to the bottom line. A present is a pile of shit and all. But at least that, at least that added free song keeps the shite fresh, you know. <laughs> Mary Doll, how did you get on? The doctor phoned the hospital to get the results of my tests. Great news. Seemingly there's been a cock up about the cock up. Eh? Hey. Rab, I'm clear. The doctor says there's no reason why I shouldn't live a full and normal life. Oh, yeah. how do you feel about that? How do I feel about it? How do you think I feel about it? No bad. Oh, no. Aw, oh, Mary. No. What is it? Look, you brought my specs. Oh, no. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can, I can see all I want to see. <laughs> like I say, it's the unexpected that gives life its own reasons. 